Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Reels Little World. Uh, guys, thank you, thank you so much for clicking into this video. And always thank you for coming back to watch my content and my videos. Thank you for clicking into this video. Also sharing my videos and liking my videos. For all my subscribers who have subscribed, I want to appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. But if you've not subscribed and always are coming to see my videos, kindly hit the subscribe button. Kindly hit that subscribe button. Please, please, Tafadalini, hit the subscribe button and let's continue growing. Comment down below and let me know the kind of content that you would like me to give you. Uh, in today's video, I've been wanting to do uh, this video for quite a long time, which is a motherhood video. I had prepared that I would have some few series of motherhood episodes and uh, today I wanted to start the motherhood episode which I'll be starting with my pregnancy journey. I'm a mom of three, a set of twins and one, one, I don't know if I'll call it one delivery but I would like to give a story on my motherhood journey or pregnancy journey with the twins because since they are the first one then uh, Let's get into this video, guys. I know a lot of people might be wondering. Uh, I know because most of people ask me, how did you get twins? How did this happen? Or how was your pregnancy journey? I get to explain this to a lot of people when they ask me, how is twins pregnancy rather than one pregnancy, than one kid pregnancy? But here I am today also with my book. I don't have anything that I've written. I've just written the title of the video. But guys, let's get into this video. Let's talk about stories about motherhood, about pregnancy journeys, because I know today there's someone who will be watching this video and will like to is experiencing the pregnancy journey because pregnancy journeys are totally different. Uh, you might be going in a smooth way and someone might be having a rough way of the pregnancy journey. Uh, this is the first episode of my pregnancy journey. The second video will be my labor and delivery video. They're now stepping into motherhood, which uh, when you are a first mom, it's it's a quite hectic uh, experience. And also carrying the twins is also a quite hectic experience. And it's um, also a good experience too. Guys, let's start this video and uh, yeah. Okay, my, my, my pregnancy journey starts from the day when I knew that I was pregnant and uh, it was back then I was staying in that village and I couldn't know if I was carrying the pregnancy, I, w I was carrying uh, rather the twins. Then um, Kama Kawaida, the morning sicknesses and everything for like three months and uh, mine was a little bit like uh, different kidogo because uh, I was experiencing a lot of uh, I know some people don't experience this but I was experiencing a lot of morning sicknesses like I was a week I was like um, throwing each and every time like puking and everything I couldn't even eat anything I couldn't eat anything even drinking water let me drink my water Sorry guys, I couldn't even drink water and um, I was a young mom because I was young and uh, this is something that was unexpected like we didn't expect to have um, the pregnancy at that time but I had to carry the pregnancy because I was very young and uh, guys this is my journey and like my journey continues as the pregnancy grew it was becoming a little bit heavier and I remember at uh, at three months, at four months, I was still puking. Each day, I was still puking. Like, I would go and eat. I would puke, then go and eat, then come back, puke, then go and eat again. That was the hectic part of it. Then, um, I remember sometimes at four months, because I started my clinic very early, my hospital journeys, uh, like hospital trips, very early, at around four months. And uh, I didn't know that I was carrying the twins. Uh, even though that I was carrying the twins. So I kept going to 
the hospital i remember the first time when i went to the hospital i was given a very like um a very i how i would do, i put it like an uh, uh, a very mature uh, nurse or sister who was assisting me because she was older like he was an elderly person so this lady kept like taking me through when i'm when i just arrived at the clinic he was the one to take care of me i think he was seeing like i was a little bit young and uh, when they found out that i was carrying twins actually they didn't tell me that i was carrying out the twins but uh, i remember going back home when um, everyone the people i had around went through my book my actually pre uh, clinic book they realized that uh, I don't think if they realize but one thing uh because i was home i was at our home but one thing that i know uh i was being taken to this the maid uh, do we call them the maiden or how do we call them the um, yeah the ones that are in the village who also help other other women who can't afford to go to the hospital by then and uh they used like to massage my my belly they used to massage my belly so that i can feel a little bit a little bit like um, uh not heavy that the babies are not heavy so this is where uh, we came to knew that uh, i was carrying actually personally i didn't know but the people around me were told like i was carrying the twins and the pregnancy journey kept going on but guys this was a very hectic and heavy uh pregnancy that I couldn't even do anything at four months. At four months, my my stomach was a little bit big and it was heavy, and I couldn't even bend because uh, you know how a uh, village is. I was in the village, and we don't have shower in the village. The only thing that you have to do is carry your a bucket of water and go to the bathroom, then get a, a bath, then come back with it with the, the the basin or the bucket so what i used to do i used to be given like a stool there was a stool that was designated for me at the bath in the bathroom so my stool was always there at four months i couldn't even bend i had to carry even the water someone had to carry from the water to take to the bathroom and um, i would uh, wash myself then i come back i would even wake up at around uh eight in the morning then uh oh i i will i could not go back to sleep up to in the evening because i was not allowed to sleep i think they were thinking like everything that people always say like uh ukilala namtoto analala ama things like that ukilala mtoto analala you need to walk usipotembea mtoto atalala pia and it was heavy because one thing i i can attest it was not an easy journey because when I well, at some point like Nikilala Ningesmama because Nataka kugeuka the other side Ningesmama niketi chini alafu nikisha keti chini then ndio nigeuka the other side because both sides are heavy so it's just a heavy thing a heavy load that I'm carrying so I couldn't like move like going on a venue na kwa na ball like unatembea unatembea huko unatembea huko i couldn't move going anywhere cuz at around 6 months now my legs started swelling my legs were swelling the tummy was growing very big but one thing uh i didn't miss any clinics any of my clinics i would go to clinics regularly like kila siku kila siku but the only thing that helped me is this uh, is this grandmother I don't know if we call them grandmothers but how wakunga wenye huwa wanakuaga huko huko nyumbani so this this uh, old lady I would go to her place cuz my my trips with her or my my appointments with her were scheduled like uh thrice thrice a week so ningeenda akani massage massage tumbo akantengeneza vizuri then after nikitoka hapo nilikuwa nasikia at least niko mwepesi mwepesi kidogo but uh, nikikaka kidogo i feel like it's a little bit heavy uh, so the pregnancy was not that but i would puke like i puked up to the last minute that i was giving but i was still puking so i went for my 
all my clinics and I remember at a certain point at six months my legs were really swelling and we couldn't know why my legs were swelling but if I go to the hospital they were like you you are okay everything is okay guys because the pregnancy is big I can't even put on a very something nice like when you a decent thing like when uh, how these days I admire people when they are pregnant they even put on body cones and everything but mine I don't know if it's me when you are not a very big tummy that's that's what that's how it was my journey I remember at some point I got very sick and uh, getting sick and getting sick I what I can remember is uh, I was sick but um, in, a, in a short while I know one thing is I was sick but I could still eat which was giving me a lot of energy I was I could still eat go and puke then eat again but one thing also guys I used to take a lot of water which I was told it really helped me during my delivery it really helped me during my delivery because one thing that I've come to realize is water is life when you are pregnant guys take water take water i remember was my, when my pregnancy was starting i couldn't take water because i was puking each and every time i was puking each and every time up to five months like sing sing sikwana like nguvu and everything eh? so i was not taking even water you feel like maji i know there are some people who will watch this video who are new into this they have their first pregnancy and they are wondering i know this is something that is kawaida but another thing also there are people who don't experience this but there are people who experience this like me personally i know people who don't experience this but i know people who experience it more than even how i was experiencing it other three months could be very long for you when you are experiencing like the morning sicknesses and everything so uh, guys i just uh, my journey was just hivo kidogo kidogo i took a lot of water i could uh, take like a whole big jug of water throughout the night then at around six i would go for more water i would ask for more water so that i can keep taking water and guys this really helped me i was told this really helped me during my delivery because it came uh like it was not as bad as such but that's another episode that we will talk <laughs> guys comment down below and let me tell you mostly mother of um like if you have um how do we call them there's a name that we call uh that not 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 we don't call them twins we call them uh Mm, multiple if you are a multiple mom or a multiple parent kindly comment down below let me know your experience was your experience uh as mine did you have a tummy that a belly that was heavier that you couldn't actually i couldn't like go anywhere because the belly was like ilikwanzito ilikwanzito sana it was like a super drum i always laugh about it and say like he ilikuwa kama ka super drum so guys know at seven months i still don't know if i'm carrying twins the doctors didn't tell me wali nyamaza na haku niambia kitu chochote guys i i didn't go for scanning because i know most of people will ask like mbona huko enda scanning i was in the village so there was no cash for scanning na everything like that so I just uh little bit of people after the last minute when now uh we gave I we gave birth and the kids were there. But guys, one thing that I would advise if you are pregnant right now and you are having the morning sickness at everything, you can also talk to your doctor and know the kind of drugs that they can administer to you because I know at this time at this time and this era there are uh, drugs that you can be given ili uache kutapika and if you are a multiple mom kindly comment down below uniambie experience yako ilikuwa vipi cause mine was um, i can't say it was smooth and i can't say it was very tough but it was tough it was tough uh, until the last day 
when I went for my clinic, nilienda clinic mwaka siku ya mwisho. Now when I went to my I remember there was a day when I went for my clinic and I found a different nurse. And the nurse uh it was a young lady and wakati akanipima akaniambia, "Kwa nini nasikia kama two feet as wanapumua?" And I was like, "Ah, ni kwa kina nani kuna 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 twins? I don't see any any chance of me getting twins." Nikanyamaza then within a second my nurse mwenye huwa ananiangalia kila siku came and she was like kwa nini unamwambia kuwa amebeba twins she is not supposed even to know kama and I was like hey kwa ni shida iko wapi so it didn't get into my mind that I'm carrying twins and I didn't care about what they were saying but at the end of this I came to give birth to twins I know people will ask like who went a scanning who kufanya who kufanya nini that's something I didn't do I can't lie I didn't go for scanning but the last minute the last day when I went for clinic actually they told me you are in labor and I was like labor in aka jamini sijui so you know how wanapima wanafanya two fingers in the sky and uh, that was it so when they told me and remember when I go back home siku za hiyo siku shock on you and shock on them siku za hiyo siku that's a story for another day that's another episode of second episode of this episode that we have started of motherhood motherhood episodes guys so um, guys uh when the day came now I went for delivery but comment down below if you want me to talk about my labor and delivery uh journey is it labor and delivery journey my labor labor and delivery experience for the twins for the twins i know people will look at, look at me and say like hey you got twins so people always ask me a lot of things how did you get twins i would like to get twins but i think people guys sometimes it's genetic call i think so to me i think so or sometimes i hear that if it's that there's some a lot of myths about twins that we will talk about someday and if you want us to talk about that also you will comment down below I like stories about motherhood and uh, I think we will be we will be talking about a lot about motherhood in uh, this channel and in this video and uh, each and every time go to my posts go to I I always post in community post guys go there and uh, sometimes I always post if you vote for videos that you would like me to do or comment down below and let me know if you have questions that always ask i always respond to all my questions i'll do a q and a after i've gotten a lot of questions but nikipata kidogo there's no way i can do the q and a so um i'll also link my instagram page on the description box so that if you have any questions about um twins pregnancy uh journey because i've experienced that then uh you can uh like Follow me, and I'll get back to you, I'll, or I'll air it uh, one day on my channel, the Q and A. Cause guys, my sister also has twins. Mine are identical, hers are fraternal. So I know now you know. Like, uh, Kiki experienced Konayo to Najua. Kindly comment down below. I know there are some people when you work on that what to adogo right now and they are twins and they are wondering ulifanya je ulifanya and guys there are a lot of myths about twins guys mm. someone told me ukiza twins ni mmoja lazima akufe and if you have twins pregnancy someone told me something mm. which i don't remember but the one yenye mtu aliniambia ukiza lazima mmoja akufe hiyo i guy nitoka kwa akili but guys thank you so much for listening to me and also watching my videos kindly comment down below Mothers out there, na waishimu sana. Na waishimu, na waishimu sana. I salute you guys. The pregnancy journeys are not always the same and are not as smooth as people think. And uh, thank you. Even if you don't have a kid, you are um, a guardian or you are expecting or you are uh, like ndio una unapanga kuko na mtoto ama also you uh, want to hear experiences from people before you get into this thing just comment down below ask the question that you would like to ask then i'll get back to you with the answer thank you guys for watching this video till next time and next episode we are waiting wait for the next episode i'll post it very soon also